Good evening, and thank you for joining WCPO. Tonight's topic, sex and violence in the media. Nowadays, sex and violence is commonly displayed in movies, song lyrics, and music videos. Many shows that teens watch often promote premarital sex, and many parents are getting worried. I got to sit down with Lisa O'Neill, mother of three teenage daughters, and ask her what her opinions are. Hi Lisa, it's great to have you here. I just have a couple questions for you. Hi Abby, sure, what are your questions? According to a poll, researchers showed 75% of adults would like to see tighter enforcement of government rules on broadcasting content. What are your thoughts? I believe it's the parents' responsibility to monitor what their children watch on TV. Do you monitor what your kids watch? I do. I use the parental control locks that the cable company provides. What are your thoughts on premarital sex shown on TV and in movies? I believe there is way too much premarital sex um, on TV and the movies. Do you think that influences teens? I believe it has a big influence on teenage girls. Um, it is sensationalized and it is not the appropriate age to be involved. Okay, thank you for coming. Sex in the media not only encourages teens to have sex, but also presents women as just sexual objects. Movies and TV shows such as Blue Mountain State and American Pie use women as sexual objects. You also might commonly see this in rap music. Rap music often degrades women by their music videos and their lyrics. In the song by Two Chains, the birthday song, he states that all he wants for his birthday is a big booty hoe. This degrades women because it makes it seem that they are only used for sexual purposes. Those were just some examples of what rappers sing about. Next, we asked MHS students in the cafeteria what they thought about rap music videos. I like them very much. The women are very pretty. Very sexy. When rappers degrade women, guys get the impression that they can also. The way guys treated girls in the past to the way they treat them now has dramatically changed. Here's an example of how. Wow, you're very beautiful. I think you have an eight tonight. Yeah, sure. Damn! Oh my lord! <laughs> As you can see, the guy in the first video was much more respectful than the guys in the second one. Not only is sex just a problem in the media, there is also violence. Not only can violence be portrayed in music videos, but it can also be portrayed in video games. So we interviewed some Mason High School students, and this is what they had to say about their thoughts on video games. So today I'm here to interview Zach, and these are his thoughts on video games. So Zach, are you a video gamer? Yes, I am. What kind of games do you play? I play a really heavy duty violence game. Like what? Like Call of Duty, the brand new one. I have all the Call of Duties. All the Halos, Grand Theft, Grand Theft Autos, Battlefields, just anything with guns. And that's all. Video game. Definitely Grand Theft Auto. All of the students we just interviewed would consider themselves gamers, and all of them loved the violent games, except for a few which liked FIFA, which is a soccer game. All the violent games, including Call of Duty, Halo, and GTA, are rated M. Rated M is for mature, because due to the blood, gore, intense violence, and strong language. 
Wow, Santa, this is really fun. Ho, ho, ho! I just shot you in the face! Thanks for getting me. Thanks for getting me. It's the best Christmas present ever. You're welcome, little boy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, look. I'm slaughtering them. Look at that. Oh. Parents should be aware what their kids are playing at all times. Studies say children who play hours and hours of violent video games tend to have higher aggression. And statistics say that 97% of delinquents ages 12 to 17 play video games. Television shows also promote a lot of violence. Some major effects of seeing violence in television in young kids are they may become less sensitive to the pain and suffering of other people. They may be more fearful of the world around them. And they may be more likely to behave in aggressive or harmful ways towards other people. Overall, sex and violence in the media has changed dramatically over the years. It has become more popular on TV and in movies and in video games, and many people think it's becoming a problem. The rising amount of teens having sex before marriage is at an all-time high. If TV shows and movies keep glorifying premarital sex, it will continue to be a problem. And if movies and shows and music keep referring to women as just sex objects and degrading them, then men will think it's okay also. Parents better keep an eye on their children and what video games they're playing and how long they're playing them, so later it doesn't affect them. Thank you for watching WCPO. I'm Abby O'Neill. Good night.